With the iContact app for iPhone and iPod Touch, you can perform several email marketing tasks while you are on the go. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to search, update, and add contact information, send an email message, track the message, and then send your message results to someone else. The account we are using today is a fictitious travel agency called Sunshine Travel. We'll open the iContact app and log into Sunshine Travel's account. You'll notice there are four tabs at the bottom of the screen. Contacts, Send, Track, and About. The app defaults to the Contacts tab. From this tab, you can search for a contact or add a new contact. If you want to update a current contact's information, select Search for Contact. Use the search bar to enter the contact's name or view the contacts in the account. To view more contacts, touch the Load More button. Once the desired contact is found, touch that contact's name. Update their contact information, and then touch the Save button. After saving, you can touch the Contacts tab to quickly return to the Contacts menu. Now let's add a new contact. There are two ways this can be done. The first way is to manually add a new contact. Touch the New Contact option. The iContact app presents a blank contact screen. Simply enter the new contact's information into this screen. To add the contact to one of your email lists, touch the Lists option. Any lists already created in your iContact account will appear and you can add the new contact to as many of these lists as you like. Sunshine Travel met their new contact at the Raleigh Vacation Expo, so we'll select that list only. We'll go back to the new contacts information. The iContact app automatically saves the contacts information and adds them to the selected list. In addition to manually adding contacts, you can upload a contact directly from Apple's Address Book app. From the Contacts tab, touch the Add from Address Book option. Select the contact you wish to add. The iContact app automatically uploads the contacts information to your account. All that's left is to assign the contact to one or more lists. After selecting the appropriate list or lists, return to the contacts information. The iContact app automatically saves the contacts information and adds them to each selected list. Now that our contacts and lists are updated, we'll send a message. Touch the Send tab. A list displays all the draft email messages stored on your iContact account. The iContact app loads the first six messages, and you can touch the Load More Results button to view more messages from the list. We'll select the first message in our list. A preview of the email message appears. We're happy with how this message looks, so we'll touch the Choose Destination button. Choose the list or lists to receive your message. We'll send our message to the Raleigh Vacation Expo list only. Once a list is selected, we can decide whether to send the message now or later. If we select Send Later, we can choose the date and time and then touch the Schedule Delivery button. We want to send the message immediately, however, so we'll go back and touch the Send Now button. Once the message is sent, we can track it from the iContact app as well. To do this, we'll touch the Track tab. A list of the six most recently sent messages appears. To add more sent messages to this list, touch the Load More Results button. Here's the message we sent a few moments ago. Let's track that message. The iContact app provides a bar graph showing the percentage of unique opens and clicks, bounces, unsubscribes, and forwards that your message received. If we scroll down the screen, you'll see a list of these same stats, including the hard numbers relating to each stat and the total recipients for your message. This message data can be emailed to others as well, including your boss, your coworkers, 
or your iContact Plus representative. To forward the data, touch the button on the upper right of the screen. Enter the email address or addresses in the appropriate fields. You can edit the subject line and message text if desired, or you can leave them as is. When you're ready to send the message, touch the Send button. If you are ever unsure how to use the iContact app, help is only a touch away. A help button can be found in the upper right corner of most screens. Touching this button opens a help page with feature-specific instructions. You can also touch the About tab. When you touch the About tab, you'll see the version of the app you are running. You can also email or call iContact technical support directly, depending on your device's capabilities. We hope you enjoy using the iContact app for iPhone and iPod Touch. Feel free to share this application with others by touching the Share This App button and to rate the application in the App Store. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing iContact.